Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're on my normal regular channel, this is The Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. Or if you are joining me on my beauty channel, it is Makeup and Movies. I'm going to upload it onto, this video I'm going to do, I'm going to upload it onto both channels because this is epic. <laughs> it is epic, I absolutely love it. Now, it is beer makeup related, so if you are here for the craft stuff and the uh, makeup's not really your thing, then I will not be offended if this video is not for you. However, because of how epic it is, I had to upload it on both. Now, I saw this, I'm actually on a group on Facebook, well, on many <laughs> groups, but the one in particular that I'm on is Friday the 13th because I just love Friday the 13th. I've loved it ever since, well, as young as I can remember. Yeah, it's just that long, I absolutely love it. The first Friday the 13th movie that I ever watched was Jason Lives, which is Friday the 13th, part six. And um, from there, I just, yeah, I, I loved it all. Now, because I'm on Friday the 13th uh, site, there, there's this certain item that a couple of people have posted on there now and as soon as I saw it I was like wow I love that I really love that there's lots of items I've seen that I've loved but this I was like yeah I love that when I showed my husband he thought it was absolutely brilliant as well so the kind person that he is Simon Lewis if you are watching this Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I'm gonna get tearful for it now, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting tearful for it because my husband knows how much it means to me and he knows how much I've loved Friday the 13th for as long as I can remember. He brought me this little snow globe for Christmas. So as soon as he saw this item, he was like, yeah, you've got to have that. So without moving over I'm gonna show you. So it is in the box. What's in the box? I can reassure you guys, it is not a head. <laughs> it is not a head, it's something better. So, I've opened the box, so I'm gonna just open it and then I'll hold it up, where I've got. So, oh, <laughs> this came today, but I had Aqua Zumba class. I was due for an Aqua Zumba class, so it had to wait until I got back. So yeah, oh. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, isn't it awesome? It's Friday the 13th makeup collection. So I've got this from Glamlight because you've got Glamlight down there. So it is by Glamlight. Now, if you go on their site, you can actually purchase this collection as a collection or you can purchase the individual items that are in this collection. For the collection, it was roughly about £114, so it's not the cheapest. However, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, it wasn't the cheapest, and also because of being in the UK, because I think it is an American-based company, my husband, he had to pay quite a bit on shipping and quite a fair bit on import charges as well. For the whole collection, and for it to have sent over here in the UK, <laughs> Yeah, this was about £179, so very expensive, but it's worth it. But if you do actually purchase the individual items from this beautiful box, it, bits of it, it does end up cheaper. So let's just take a look at the box before we go into any other of it. So I probably won't be putting any of this makeup on today because I just want to go in depth and show you everything that's in the box. <laughs> So yeah, we've got here, we've got they were warned, they are doomed and on Friday the 13th nothing will save them aside from this collection. I'm not sure that putting a load of makeup on and that would save me from Jason but yeah, how awesome is it? So you've got the Friday the 13th there, you've got the Glamlight collection. Now let's take a look at this front cover. Now if you like me and you've been... You've absolutely loved Friday the 13th from the, 
<laughs> yeah, the get go. And you're fanatic about it, you'll recognise the front cover of this box. Now, there is actually two front covers to the Friday the 13th uh, movies. Now, this one, it's actually the older cover. Now, there is another cover where it's on like a white background, but this one, I love this one because this front cover is the one from Friday the 13th Part 4. Yes, one of my favourite favorite favorite ones i absolutely love it i love it so in friday the 13th part four you're first introduced to tommy jarvis who's actually in the sixth one his character changes in the fifth and sixth one but he's first introduced in a part four with his family and yeah i absolutely love it in part four you get these group of people group of teens if you want to say that go to this house for the weekend, they're staying at this house and obviously everything just, yeah. <laughs> so Friday the 13th, if you are unfamiliar with it, I'm gonna just gonna quickly tell you because I don't wanna waste time on looking at the items in here. So Friday the 13th, basically, it's about this uh, kid, about 11, and is at this camp called Camp Crystal Lake. And at this camp in 1957, he supposedly drowns in the lake, in the camp, in Crystal Lake. None of the camp counsellors were paying attention. And unfortunately, that does happen. Now, in 1958, two camp counsellors actually get killed at the camp. They get murdered at the camp. Nobody knows who did it. So the, initially I think the camp ends up getting shut down and then further on within the movies, well start from the first one, there's this guy called Christy who is trying to like renovate the camp and bring it back to life again and through the past couple of years it, things start going a bit funny in the camp, it's like different things start happening, the water goes bad um, and all sorts, it's like something's trying to stop him from opening the camp. However, in the first movie, Friday the 13th part one, he does actually open, he don't open up the camp where kids come, he opens it up, he is renovating it. There's a group of people who are gonna be camp counselors there and they start helping him to renovate the place. However, <laughs> people start dying one by one. So without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> So yeah, uh, how shall I open it? So that's what the back of the book box looks like. Books, box, <laughs> box. Now this is a box that I want to keep. Now, my husband says about these when I'm doing a video preparation. I thought I'd got prepared for everything because me being me, I was too damn excited. <laughs> I was too excited and I didn't even think about how to open it. So, I may very well have to pause you in a second. So let me pause you guys while I open this bad boy and then we'll have a look what's inside. So I've actually managed to get into it. So yes, preparation, Simon Lewis. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take on board what you said. <laughs> so I've managed to open it. This is what the inside of the box looked like looks like you've got all your things goodies in there so we'll take this off oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah oh god look at that we've got all our goodies in there and can you see the hologram thing how awesome is that so yeah you've got all your goodies in there you've got makeup bag candles palettes you name it so we've got it all in the box there i absolutely love the box and i shall be keeping it so, what I'm going to do is take each item out of the box and then we're going to have a look what we've got. So, first we've got, ta -da! we've got the makeup bag with Glam Light on and the picture, if I held it up the right way, <laughs> instead of upside down, you've got this like holographic, holographic picture and it shines into Friday the 13th and then you get the mask from the fourth movie so and that's what the back of the bag looks like if you open the bag up 
it's quite a decent size so it opens all the way down so you can zip it all the way down like that so it's quite a decent bag now what i'll be doing with the oh no way look at the zips they are axes the zip is an actual axe <laughs> how cool is that so yeah you've got two axe zips on each side which i love uh, how am I going to be able to fasten it back up there? So yeah, I'm going to keep everything in there. I absolutely love the makeup bag. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now we're going to go into this. So it comes with a Friday the 13th candle. And this is Camp Crystal Lake. So welcome to Camp Crystal Lake candle glam light. So... I'm going to take this out. So it says, create a chilling welcoming at home with our welcome to Camp Blood. A <laughs> canal made with the highest quality soy wax and the fresh scent of cherry woods. So Camp Blood is the nickname for Camp Crystal Lake. Now Camp Blood, it's actually first mentioned in the first film where there's a police on a bike and he goes down to the actual camp to talk to the councillors because he's looking for the town crazy which is called Ralph who's like yeah he's a town crazy and he's the one that warns them what, when they're at the camp to start with that they are all doomed so he's looking for that and then this man, policeman's looking for Ralph and he comes across the councillors and they're just trying to reassure him that they're just trying to get the camp in shape and they finish talking to him and it's actually Ned, the joker out the group, the first one that mentions, did I, it was, did I neglect to mention that downtown the people call this camp blood so that's when it's first mentioned so here's your candle, it's quite a decent one it's a nice glass one it's red we've got welcome to camp blood and then the glam light logo and at the back you've got friday the 13th so cherry wood oh that is nice i really yeah i can smell the cherry and it does have that really nice cherry smell to it now that will be going in front of the tv and i'll especially like that while i'm watching friday the 13th so i love that absolutely love it so we're just going to pop that to the side safely <laughs> safely so now we've got the brushes so it comes with a brush set we friday the 13th jason Voorhees brush set so it says blend your life using the everyday tools needed for this killer glam Inspired by the chilling tools Jason used throughout the iconic Friday the 13th films. Because we all know he loves his lot of tools. <laughs> There's machetes, axes, or oh, crossbow, anything. And designed by professional makeup artists, these tools allow for perfect shadow placement blend for your eye samples. So we're going to take it out this bag here. I'm going to have a lot of rubbish there. So that's what it looks like sorry about the glare so those are what our brushes look like now i'm going to put on the brushes I'm, i was going to take them out of the box but i'm thinking now because i do want to go in depth with the actual eyeshadow we're just going to have a look through the packing so sorry about the glare but the brushes are they look like wooden type brushes to represent obviously i think it's to represent axe heads and that so you've got your blending brush your other blending brushes and you've got your layering brush when you're putting layers onto the lid so we've got that so we have that now what is oh so you see what i'm getting excited we've got ta -da, a jason for his mirror your new favorite hand mirror which yes they know me well has arrived made with custom mojo technology and easy to hold weight the friday the 13th glam light mask mirror holds the iconic murderous mask with all we know and fear so 
Look at that! Isn't that amazing? So yeah, we've got the mirror. Oh, look at that. So it feels like a nice mirror. It feels like a sturdy, quite a sturdy mirror. I don't ever want to break this. I love that. I absolutely love it. The only other handheld mirror that I've got is my Jeffree Star one. And I do like my Jeffree Star one. However, I'm sorry, but the Jason mask, it just... <laughs> I've done my makeup. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. So you've got a nice, it feels kind of like plastic. You've got the Friday the 13th logo. You have the Jason mask on the front. Now Jason, if you're unsure about the movies, Jason doesn't actually get his mask until the third film. So if you are into your horror, watch the third one. So yeah. So we've got that and obviously there's the mirror there, you can see the window in the background and now we're on filming. So yeah, love the mirror. Now I've got to pop that back in there because I've just got so much to show you. So much time in the middle. Strike that, reverse it. I got that from, you know, that film, Jim Wilder, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But yeah, we're not talking about that today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah oh what do i show next i've got to show this one so this one it is glam like friday the 13th no place to hide lip kit so inspired by the classic horror film friday the 13th we bring you the lip kit you'll be sure to die for Featuring the dark velvet smooth lip liner for precise lining and shaping and ultra nude. So with this, you get the liner is actually darker than the actual lip colour. The lip colour itself is a nude where the lip liner here, I'll show you here, it's more red to represent Campbellard. So we've got there Friday the 13th and this is Hoke. So it's a fairly dark one. So... I'm just going to, I'm going to do it here because I want to do some swatches. So yeah, it's quite a dark shade there. You can just see there. So it's quite a dark shade there. But mixing that with the nude lip colour, it's going to work out well. And you can get it really blended and looking nice. So the lipstick, are you ready for this? I love this. This is the lipstick. <laughs> How cool is that? that is absolutely awesome so you've got friday the 13th at the top you've got jason's mask you've got a little bit of blood dripping down the side there and glam light and this is the lipstick so so around the lipstick you've got like i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but you you might not be able to see but you can see little rivets where i think it represents blood dripping down so this one, it's more, it is like of a nude colour. So I'm just going to swatch a little bit of it just so you can see what it's like. So that is the colour of the lipstick. So it is light, lighter than the lip liner, but obviously use the lip liner for precision and that. And with this, you can actually blend it in, which that will look really, really nice. So yeah, not to mention... That shade of lipstick is definitely, definitely my shade. I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to pop that back in the box. Now, I love the box for this because it's one that you just slip back in and then you pull it out. So, I'll definitely be keeping that box. Most of these boxes I will keep. So, I'll quickly show you these because they're out of the packing. These are some lashes. So it's got Friday the 13th Camp Counselor Lashes from Glam Light. And that's what the back looks like. Now, I've seen on these, on the end of the lashes, which you probably won't see here, but I will show, I'm going to do a future video where I'll actually be using these products that I'm showing in this video. On the end of the lashes, it's actually red to represent light blood on the lashes. Now, I'm not experienced when it comes to lashes. I don't wear, wear them much. However, I'm definitely going to have to give these a go. And yeah, I can, yeah I'm yeah, i definitely going to have to give those a go. When I practice on them, when I do my makeup, in my next uh, makeup video, when I try out this set, I'll just place them over my eyes so they'll be easier to take off. So those are the lashes. 
So next, we're going to have a look at the highlighter. I'm leaving the best till last. So we'll have a look at the highlighter. So this is what the head of packing looks like. Got Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake, Jason Lives Highlighter. Now Jason Lives, you'll remember at the beginning of the video when I was on about the Jason movies, Jason Lives was the first high uh, highlighter. Was the first uh, Friday the 13th movie that I saw. My favorite part in that is when Jason, I can't say comes back to life because he's like a zombie. But he actually, when Tommy Jarvis goes with his friend to go in, he wants to dig up Jason to basically prove that he's dead and buried. And something happens and it actually brings him back to life. And I, can't, I don't want to rip this out of packaging. But it's tight. I'm going to have to rip it to get it open. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. I had to kind of rip the package in a little bit to go and try and get the item out of there, but I did it. But here it is, you've got, that's the front of the highlighter. You when you, again, a holographic, hologramic. You've got Friday the 13th and the Jason mask. I'm sure that when it shines there, Friday the 13th, that one, is that the first sign from the first movie? I could be wrong, but anyhow. It says, slay your makeup routine on this unlucky day with this iridescent shifting highlighter. Made a soft focus formula designed to highlight and smooth the appearance of skin. So, oh, look at that. You've even got a little mirror at the top with Jason Voorhees. So that is what the highlighter looks like. So it, is got, it has got a film thing over it. So if I, thankfully I don't have false nails. So if I open it up like that, you can see it's like goldy blue highlighter. So if I shine that, you'll see how beautiful. That is lovely. Now that is just my kind of highlighter. So I'm just going to swatch a bit of it on my hand there. Can you see that? So it is, I think it's like a buildable one. It's really nice, actually. I really like that. I love how it shines. So yeah, absolutely love that highlighter. It's just my colour highlighter. I absolutely love it. And I love the quality of it as well. It feels nice. The formula feels nice. Because you can tell with some makeups, the formula doesn't feel great. Or you can tell even with the packaging sometimes. But this, I absolutely love it. So, we are left with the grand part of it so i love everything that's come in the pack so far i absolutely love every single bit of it but yeah Ta -da! now this is the actual eyeshadow palette so it comes in a little case like this you've got again jason's mask at the front with the knife in from friday 13 part 4 you've got camp crystal lake 15 colors so this palette has 15 colors in and at the back it shows you a little bit about the colours but we will actually go into that so it says dive into the lake of horror with friday the 13th plus glam light camp crystal light palette filled with 15 ultra pigment pigmented matte and shimmery shades inspired by the iconic camp everyone fears so it, it opens at the side maybe Okay, how do we open this? Duh. <laughs> you lift barrel. Oh dear me. So if you look inside the box, it's got that like a VHS glam light Friday the 13th, 15 colour palette. And in the palette, you've got the actual palette itself. So we're going to take that out of the box. Oh, look at that box. I want to keep that as well. So this is what the packaging for the palette looks like. So you've got it where it shines in Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake. And then when you... Actually, can you see Jason? Is that Jason in the background? I don't know. But when you shine it... Ah, there. We've got the Camp Crystal Lake sign. That's at the front of the camp. So are you ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> so those are the shades now 
the lighting really probably doesn't do it justice but come on how gorgeous is that so that is absolutely beautiful now i'm going to swatch some of these so we have this one here which is jason lives and that is from the sixth movie oh the formula feels nice so it's from this oh so it's a nice silvery color that one so it's a gorgeous silvery color so that's from the sixth movie now i'm guessing the silver represents probably his machete or the actual lightning bolt. So we've got Cam Counselor, which is like a matte green. We have Axe, which I'm going to swatch that one. I may not swatch all of them and the matte ones. But we've got Axe, which is here just below that one. I think it's got more of a gold colour in there. You can't see that, can you? Can you see it now? No. Let me do another swatch. Because I probably didn't swatch. Ah, that looks a bit better. It's at the angle. Can't show you because it will, will not show up, but it's got like a goldy shimmery colour to it. We've got New Blood, which New Blood, if you're familiar with the films, New Blood is actually the seventh one where the girl in it, she's actually got a telekinesis and she can move things with her mind <laughs> and she manages to bring Jason back from the water with using her mind. So it looks like there's red glitter in this one. So I'm just going to swatch this one. I don't want to swatch it too much though. I think there is a bit of red pinky glitter in there. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, it looks more matte. It does look more matte, but it actually does have red glitter shimmer in there. So we've got Can't Hide. So if you've just seen the first film, um, we all know in the first one. And if you haven't seen it, I'm about to do a spoiler alert. The first film actually isn't Jason that's doing the killing. It's actually his mother. And when she's chasing after the um, camp counsellor that's left, which is Alice, She's speaking as if Jason's speaking through a mouth and she's like, kill her mommy, kill her, she can't hide, no place to hide. Can't hide. <laughs> Did you like my impression then? <laughs> yeah, it's gone for it, it was cool. So that is like a nice pink shimmery one. I absolutely love that, that is gorgeous. So we've got that one, we've got Summer Camp which is like a darker gold colour which is there nice shimmery gold colour we have Nightmare which yeah if you ended up in Camp Crystal Lake on Friday the 13th it would be a nightmare so that is like a nice greeny colour like a petrol kind of colour I really do like that one and we have Camp Crystal Lake, which is kind of like a dark one. So that's like a dark one there. And that even has a shimmery glitter in, which it's probably not showing up on camera. And I'll put it at an angle where I can't get at it. Hang on. Let me just swatch it with my thumb and see if you can tell on my thumb. Can you see any shimmer in there? There is actually shimmer in it. Looks more darker. So we've got that one. We have Camp Blood, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It's what Ned in the first movie refers to as the people from actual the town refer to as Camp Crystal Light. They call it Camp Blood because of what's happened. We've got Unlucky Day, which is a brown one. We have Death Curse. <laughs> This is from, oh, Ralph, when he sees, oh, it's when he talks to Annie at the beginning. No, it, this part is actually, is actually gone to the camp and he comes out the um, pantry when Alice opens the door and he says, oh, doomed, you're all doomed if you stay here. It has got a death curse. So, yeah. We see Ralph in the second one as well. Unfortunately, though, we don't see him in the rest of them, so you can probably guess what happens to him. <laughs> so we've got Jay Voorhees, which is like a dark green. 
Well, that reminds me of the sixth one of his outfit. It's just like obviously all green and his skin's all green, he's all deformed and everything because he's been in the ground for like how many years? We've got your doomed, which is pure black. Not pure black, it is a darker blue. So yeah, that's Ralph, Ralph's fantastic uh, prophecy saying. <laughs> And then we got F13, which is the pure black one there. So that is it, guys. That is the palette. I hope you can see it. Like I said, I feel like you can't see it to its full justice, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So that is the palette. So I'll do a quick rundown before I bid you farewell for now. So in this box, in this collection, you have the palette with the front cover of Friday the 13th Part 4 you get the beautiful highlighter which is now my favorite highlighter so i cannot wait to use that with the hologramic picture like the other one has the hologramic picture so we have that we have the eyelashes which i'm gonna have to get used to practicing with those we have the lip kit which is just my colors i absolutely love it i really do love that can't wait to try that out you have the candle, which I will definitely be burning when I'm watching Friday the 13th. I'll have my nice rosewood candle going. And the mirror. Who can't, who can you forget the mirror? You can't forget the mirror. So you have the mirror, the lovely brush set, which in a future video, we are going to use just this brush set while we use the eye makeup, while we do that. And then the last thing of all is you've got the makeup bag to put all your treasured beautiful possessions in. So guys, that is it. So that is me trying to get the stuff back in the box. Hang on a minute. I'm going to get it in here. I'm going to get it in here. I'm going to get it in. <laughs> So that is the collection, the Friday the 13th collection by Glamlight. So as I said before, I love Friday the 13th videos. I have done since as young as I can remember and I am 41 this year. So it is a very long time. Friday the 13th part four is one of my favourite Friday the 13th movies as long as well as six. I just love all of them with the minor exception of Friday the 13th Part 10, which is the one where Jason goes into space. That's all I'm saying about that one. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, as much as I have making it. I am so stoked. I'm just really excited about having this collection. And obviously, because my husband is gonna watch this video, he probably will. I just wanna say, uh, Simon Lewis, <laughs> and I'm gonna get tearful again. Thank you, thank you so much for the from the bottom of my heart um, for getting me this collection. Because we get things throughout the year where we don't really stick to a certain date. So he's got me as an early Valentine's um, an anniversary present. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you more than you will ever know. Uh, you are the love of my life. Um, I'm not just saying it because I have, I'm holding this here. You are the love of my life and I wouldn't be without you. I do love you very much. Um, also as well, guys, he does have his own channel, which is Crow Angel Gaming. He does a lot of gaming videos and the stuff he does on there is just epic. He, he, he builds, he's actually converting Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft into Minecraft. So please feel free to go and check it out. I will leave a link in the description below to uh, my husband's page which is Crow Angel Gaming so please feel free to go and check him out and show your support for the channel as well a quick thing um, I do want to give a shout out as well to Tampa J I've been watching his videos he does filming locations as well as haunts and one of the filming locations he actually goes to the camp where camp where Friday the 13th part 6 is actually filmed at that camp there 
I can't remember the name of the original camp, so please don't shoot me. But when he showed that video, he actually went into Nancy's, into the girls' dorm, and it's actually like a recreational room now. It's got like a, it's like an assembly. It's got, it's where people eat, <laughs> where people eat. But when I watched that video, as soon as I watched it, I automatically realised that that filming location is the same filming location as Fear Street 1974. So yeah, I'll also leave a link to his channel in the description below. So thank you again to Simon Lewis, my wonderful husband, for getting me this whole collection. I absolutely love you and um, I always will. So anyway guys, I'm going to get tearful again now. So I'm going to get going now. I'm going to go and pet my collection for a while. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And I just want to say, because uh, it is on my Stitch and Colourers channel, if makeup isn't your thing, I will fully understand. But um, I'm actually going to... I'm going to share it on my makeup channel but I wanted to share it on here as well because I've only just started my makeup channel and I'm, this is something that has to be seen now, <laughs> not later. So anyway guys, I'm going to get going and I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now guys, bye!